When it comes to Japanese dog breeds, Akita and Shiba Inu might be a great choice for dog lovers. If you're planning to adopt any of these dog breeds for the first time, in that case, you should know the differences between Shiba Inu and Akita Inu. In this video, we will see the primary differences between these two dog breeds so that you can adopt the right one for you. Pedopedia. Japan is the homeland of the Shiba Inu and Akita dog breeds. Akitas are relatively new compared to Shiba Inus. This large, Spitz-type dog was born in the 17th century. Over the decades, it was developed into the Akita. The name Akita Inu means the dog of Akita, as Akita is a province in Japan. On the other, Shiba Inu means little dog or brushwood dog. It is an ancient breed believed to have originated in 300 BC. Even though Akitas are Japan's national dog, Shiba Inus are more popular as pets than them. In Japan and other places, Shiba is kept as an affectionate pet. But while Shiba Inus and Akitas are often considered brothers outside of their native Japan, they have distinct characteristics. So let's see the differences between these two breeds. Shiba Inu and Akita have pretty similar features with fox-like heads and pointy ears. But while both these dogs come from the Spitz family, Shiba Inus and Akitas are sometimes compared to Siberian Huskies due to their wolf-like appearances. Though they have some similarities, they are still different in size and weight. Akitas are much larger than Shibas. It is a giant Japanese breed with 25 to 28 inches in height and 85 to 130 pounds. If you love big, large dogs, then you'll love these dogs. However, due to its large size, Akitas need plenty of space. So it is not suitable for apartment life, but if you own a house or villa, it can be a perfect companion. On the contrary, Shibas are the most miniature Japanese dogs. Their average height is 15 to 17 inches, and their weight is 23 pounds. Shibas, however, can adjust in small areas, so they are suited for your apartment living. Each of them has a thick, furry double coat that keeps them warm in the winter and repels water. The Akita has two coats, a dense, plush undercoat and a short top coat. They come in multiple color coats and sheds constantly so you'll find fine-coated dogs within a few months. Just like the Akitas, the Shiba Inu is also double-coated, having a softer and thicker coat where the outer coat is straight and stiff. With that, the coats also come with four different color options such as black and tan, cream, red and red sesame. Among others, red coats are the most popular, and these dogs also shed often and seasonally. Both Akitas and Shiba Inus have distinct personalities. They are lively and playful dogs. It doesn't matter if you're looking for a beautifully fluffy dog to keep your family entertained, they both suffice. So what are the differences if both Shiba Inu and Akita dogs are equally fun to have? Let's see. Shiba is playful and active, and it quickly gets along well with kids and larger pets. So if you have kids at home, these furry friends will keep them entertained. However, don't leave your Shiba dog if you have a small pet such as a mouse or rabbit as it may still have a memory of hunting them in the past. In addition, Akitas possess an incredibly loyal and fearless temperament, and that makes them excellent guard dogs. So, if you have older persons at home, they can help you by protecting your family members. But according to dog fanciers, Akita are not recommended as a beginner dog. Food is the most important thing for keeping these dogs healthy, so make sure to feed them the best quality of food you can afford. Shiba Inus eat on average 2 cups a day. As they eat less than Akitas, they will cost you less to feed. Rather, if you're considering taking on the Akita, you should consider that they eat approximately 4 cups in a day. This will significantly increase your food bill each month. As headstrong dogs, both breeds require strong masters to guide them. However, Akita is loyal and eager to please, and it is easier to train. In contrast, Shiba Inus are pretty intelligent but stubborn. Additionally, they are not known for their sociability. Both dogs must receive early socialization to grow up to be polite and pleasant. 
Because of their protective nature, Akitas require this early socialization the most. If you can train them well, they can be your most trustworthy friend for your loved ones when you're not around. So, here are the differences between Shiba Inu and Akita Inu. Hope you'll get some ideas about these dogs from this video. Thanks for watching the video. Like, comment, and share this video if you find it useful. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for further updates.